How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and this is a quick RPG Maker MZ tutorial on how to use the skills cost items functionality from MV into MZ. So it was very easy to do it in MV. You basically put in one note tag and you make a skill, you make the item and you make the skill cost the item. It's a little bit more complicated inside of RPG Maker MZ, but it's not too hard if you know what you're doing. So this is a little bit of reference for you to make your own skills cost items in RPG Maker MZ. So let's look at that. What will you need to, in order to make this work? You're going to have to put in the RPG Makers uh, a few plugins in the plugin manager, Visual Visual Stella MZ's core engine, and you're going to need to put in the skills states core. These are free plugins. You can get them off of our uh, VisualStellaMZ.itch.io to find them. And once you got them installed here, you, you put them in your, actually I should probably go in here, game open folder. They're going to be put inside the JS plugins folder right there. Once they're in that folder, they'll populate this if you go down to the bottom and double click on a blank row, and then you can find them in here. Once you find them in here and select them, they'll show up right here. You can toggle them on or off, and you want to turn them on. So you have this one on, you have this one on, and it should work just fine. Once you've got that, you're going to double click on this one and you're going to go into the skill cost types. Inside of here, you're going to see five things. You're going to see HP, MP, TP, gold, and potion. What we're going to do is add another type and we're going to change the potion type to be the new potion, the new type that you want to add. So let's think of something that we're going to have to use. Um, let's make a new item called rations and you're going to use rations to do a specific type of restorative move and you want that skill um, to require TP or whatever else you need to require but you want to make sure that it consumes an item so in order to do that what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the potions row and you're going to copy that and then you're going to paste in here okay we're going to come back to this but we need to go into the database and make our item that we want our skill to consume so let's go ahead and do that hit ok hit ok hit ok open up your database with this cogwheel thing go into the items and go down to another free spot and type in the name of the item that you want to use for the sake of, uh, to make this brief, I'm going to copy paste one I already have. I'm going to call it rations. Give it whatever icon you want, and you can give it a description. Use this with a skill to use your skills. <laughs> That's pretty redundant, but it's fine. Make this not consumable. It has no occasion. It doesn't need a scope. It's a regular item. Give it whatever price you want. You're going to give it a type. So inside of the note tag of this item, you're going to call it one specific name. We're going to call it rations. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Um, you don't have to keep these the same name, but if you want to make it simple, you could call this type the same as this. But if you have multiple skill types, you can add multiple items that are all of the same type, and it will use one or the other of them. We're going to make it very simple, one item for one type. This is uh, so that it's foolproof. And we'll call it rations, and we'll give it the type of rations. We're going to hit OK. Apply that OK. And once we've got that, we're going to need a skill as well. So our skill, I'm going to copy this one that I've got over here and go over it. We're going to make a skill called heal... Um, let's say eat food in order to eat food we're gonna we're gonna need it to require those rations so what we're gonna do is have it whatever description you want icon you want it's up to you if you want it to cost MP or TP you can make that cost TP we will make it cost 10 right here put it in whatever skill type you want give it the animation that you want it's all arbitrary you can do a much better job than I've got put in here give it the effect you want it to have so I'm gonna make it recover 100% of your HP when you use this skill but the skill is gonna require that you use an item and have the TP so we'll be battle screen and what we're gonna do is whatever name we used in the previous item we called it rations we're gonna make it cost that so we're gonna say rations cost one or two or ten or whatever you feel like and we can give it uh, more flair and better descriptions uh, if you want to but that's all your own flavor hit apply now that we've got a skill and we've got our item we need to award the skill you can do that any number of ways for the sake of uh, simplicity I'm just going to add a skill right here on the actor that I'm going to demonstrate this with so I'm going to give this skill eat food to a new character and then we're gonna hit okay so we've got the skill we've got the uh, skill created we've got the item created that's got the type on it and then we've given that skill to an actor okay let's go back into the plugin manager we're gonna double click on the skill states core and go back into the skill cost items now that we know what um, we need to know what number it is. We actually need to know what number it is. So go into the item and find the number. So item number 20. This is an important thing to note. So we've created rations, but we need to know what item it is because we're going to change a little bit of code. It's not complicated and I'll walk you through it. So find the number of the item that you just made. In this case, it is 20. 
and then go back to where we were in that plugin skills cost types inside the new thing remember we copy pasted potions we need to replace all instances of the word potion with rations and all of the data items with number 20. so double click on that and we're going to start at the top very simply we're going to go ahead and change the name to rations hit ok you can change the icon and the font color and size. It's all up to you. I'm going to leave it the same way it is right now. Double click on the cost processing. And anytime you see anything that says potion, replace that with ration. Whatever name, spell it exactly the same and put it in all caps. So anytime you see potion, you're going to put in rations. Okay. You don't have to go to the side because there's nothing on the side. Just scroll down from the top to the bottom. It's a little bit of work, but it's not that hard rations rations scroll on down rations we're gonna just continue to do this for all the instances of potions hit okay go to the next one now here when you see data items we're gonna need to put in that number so we're gonna change five which was the potions to data items 20 in my case it's the rations this number may not be 20 for you it's gonna be whatever you use for that item okay so scroll on down and that's uh, that's all you need to do we're gonna be changing all data items from whatever number it says which would be 5 to 20 in my case and it would be a different number in your case so change it to your number the item you're trying to add we're also checking for any instances of the word potions or potion, and we're gonna change those to the name that we call the type. This is 20. Almost there. Data items change to 20. Data items change to 20. And one more time, finally, data items change to 20. And that should be it. So now it will look for all instances of rations. So we created a new resource type, which would be an item. And if we hit OK, hit OK. And we need to give the party that item to test it. So I've got an event, a common event that starts the player with some stuff. So I'm just going to give my party member one ration one rations just so that we can test it to make sure that it works so when the game starts I'll have one rations now if you remember the requirements in the skill I need 10 TP to use it so we have to have two requirements in order to use our skill rations we have to have at least 10 TP and we have to have one of the rations in our inventory now if we go to the items we won't see rations because we made it a not consumable with no scope and it's never really usable so if you don't use it in battle or on the screen it won't show up but we'll go here and we'll see that we have eat food, which uses the supplies and uses the supplies in combat to heal us. We can't do it because we don't have TP. We do have an item, but we don't have TP. So I'm gonna guard, and that'll give us 10 TP. And then if we go back to here, you can see that we have eat food because we have one supply and we have 10 TP. So we're gonna use that and it'll restore our, our health back up. And then we'll try to see if we can use it again. Well, we don't have 10 TP, so let's see, let's get that 10 TP. Can we use it again? No, we can't use it again because we don't have another item. So that's it. That sums up the entire tutorial. Hopefully you guys found this helpful, informative, or useful in some way. It was a lot easier to do this inside of RPG Maker MV, but you can see it's still not too complicated inside of RPG Maker MZ. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have a Patreon. Also, come join us in Discord. We are an official Discord partner. Love you guys very much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.